So while the U.S. is at least tentatively gearing up for booster doses, there's actually some skepticism that COVID-19 vaccine efficacy is actually waning. Now, that view does seem to differ from what we're seeing with increased breakthrough cases among fully vaccinated individuals. But why are some experts kind of going against the conventional wisdom here? Yeah, I'm not sure if there is a conventional wisdom, but um, there's certainly wisdom and, and counter wisdom. Um, and I think the, you know, the problem here is that you don't have a control group that got placebo. So you can compare people who got the vaccine early with the people who got the vaccine late. And that's what the a study in Israel did. Um, but the to make a firm conclusion, you have to assume that those groups are actually uh, similar. Um, and if they're not, because, you know, maybe the group that got the vaccine earlier is richer and so therefore more likely to travel and more likely to you know go out to eat and so therefore more likely to you know be exposed to the vac to the virus then they might just be getting the the breakthrough cases at a higher rate because they're um, because they're more exposed to the virus which has nothing to do with vaccine production waning um, protection waning um, you can also look at the rate of infection um, for the people who got the vaccine over time. Um, but that assumes, again, the same exposure to the virus over time. So if they're going out more because they feel more confident about you know, other people being vaccinated, and so that you know, they're protecting themselves less, wearing less masks, um, then you would expect them to get more breakthrough cases, even though um, they're just because they're exposing themselves more to the virus, not because their antibodies are going down and that and the, the vaccine is no longer able to protect them. Um, and so, it, you know, if the increase in breakthrough cases is due to higher exposure, then arguably we'd be better off giving the vaccines a way to help stop the spread globally, um, which would help protect us from stronger uh, creation of stronger variants. And so, I think there's definitely an argument for if there if if the issue is that we're just exposing ourselves more to the vac to the virus and that's the reason why we're getting more breakthrough cases, then that's a completely different case than that the vaccine that the antibody levels are going down enough that we can now be uh, now get COVID nineteen and uh, so the problem is you just don't know you can look at antibody levels and you can see that they're going down but you don't actually know whether that's you don't know where the level is that would result in you not being protected. And so that's the, the question at this point, I think. Right. And, and Pfizer has been saying the antibody levels are going down. Therefore, we think booster doses could be necessary. But as you mentioned, Brian, there is no control group, group here and there are multiple factors at play. So there's no way to be 100% certain. Uh, so I, I think that's, you know, back to what we were talking about earlier in this segment. The, the issue here is that there's just not a lot of data to go on. Yeah, and, and antibody levels are not even all that we need. We need. We also need to know that, you know, you, you're protected by antibody levels as your first line of defense, but eventually your immune system um, has memory B and memory T cells that, that recognize the virus and then start and then ramp back up um, production of antibodies and, and T cells that can kill the, the, the cells infect the, in the cells that are infected with the virus. And so um, the, you know, there's the, 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 those are even harder to measure. So just measuring antibody levels doesn't even really tell you whether you're, whether you're actually protected against the, the virus.